All right, my beautiful people, how's everybody doing today? All right, thanks everybody for coming out. Thank you for coming to the 17th annual California Free Thought Day. Give yourselves a round of applause for making it. Um, my name is uh, Steve Hill, a.k.a. Frederick Douglass, a.k.a. Freddie D, a.k.a. Satan. And uh, we have a very good program for you today, and I'm just excited to be here. All right, uh, before we get started, I'd like to thank our sponsors. One being Applied Office On-Site Computer Training. I do believe that da that's David Diskin's business. Uh, Ken Nahijan, the Atheist Community of San Jose, the Military Association of Atheists and Free Thinkers. Do we have any veterans in the audience today? Veterans, make some noise. We have any Marines in the audience? Well, I'm a Marine, so hurrah. All right, atheists and other free thinkers. Uh, Sunday Assembly of Sacramento. Compassionate Humanist. Americans United for the Separation of Church and State, which is one of my favorite organizations. The Black Humanists and Non-Believers of Sacramento, their table's right over there. The Humanist Association of Greater Sacramento Area, thank you for being here and thank you for your support. And thanks to our other donors, guest speakers, entertainers, volunteers, including these individual donors. David Noel, Frank Ivansko, Angela Garvey, Sean Hayhurst, Wayne Arger, Michelle Bear, Leonard Trammell. Is Leonard here? Leonard, no. Robert Pochel, Terry Smith. Thank you, my friend Terry. Michelle Nito, Joseph Morrow, Stephen Campbell, John Garano, Arlean Rios, Christine Jones. Thank you, Christine. Nancy Sneed, Tom and Wendy Eichelman, Carlos Rango. Sean She, David Grunbach, and Douglas Gray. We all had a great time at last night's fundraiser and reception. Thank you for that applause. Thank you for all of our supporters. Um, let's see, and, and we thank you so much for being part of this event. Thanks to the Holiday Inn for being such great hosts. Thanks to the state of California and the taxpayers for providing this beautiful venue. Uh, thank you, and all of our social media people out there, everybody, on, we, we have a hashtag that we'd like for you to use, which is hashtag Free Thought Day, and we'd like for you to share pictures, take selfies, get the word out there on social media, go to Facebook, invite your friends, and we're going to have a nice evening. Look, we got people over here on horseback, that's CHP on horseback going to be hard writing somebody a ticket on horseback, I can tell you that. All right, <laughs> we'd like for, uh, to invite everybody to visit our community tables, complete the survey in your program, collect eight stickers from participating tables, turn it into the registration table for a chance to win one of our three gift baskets with over $300 worth of books and other goodies, which would be a uh, quite coveted position to have once you leave California Free Thought Day. It's, it's, it's a good deal. So those participating tables, make sure you get those eight stickers. All right, and finally I want to remind everyone of our code of conduct and privacy policy, which you may find in your program. We want everyone here to feel safe and welcome. And if you have any concerns, please seek out members from our volunteer committee. So we want everyone here to feel safe. Well, we don't have any Catholic priests here today, do we? Watch your kids. Just keep an eye on your kids. <laughs> All right, now please join me in introducing the president, California Free Thought Day, my friend and one of my biggest supporters, David Diskin. David! Thank you. Steve, thank you so much. Round of applause for our MC today, Steve Hill. Thank you, Steve. Uh, thank you all so much for coming out here. Again, thank you to all of our sponsors, donors, volunteers, committee members, uh, everyone who was at the reception last night. We thought 
a couple months ago, or maybe yeah, about six months ago, what our theme should be this year. And we didn't even realize at the time how bad the fake news problem was on social media. Uh, has, anyone, has anyone heard of this? This, this? this thing where you like make up a story and share it and it goes viral? And apparently there's this website called Snopes that no one knows about. Raise your hand if you're familiar with Snopes. Well, that's good because there's a lot of people that if they just would look at it before they share something, we could save this world a lot of problems. Don't you guys agree? I don't know what it is. And, and you know, this whole concept of fake news and the, 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 the power bracelets and, and reading meridian lines and tea leaves, that does not, and that's not anything new. We can't, we can't blame Facebook and social media for that. Those go back centuries or, 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 well, I mean, let's face it, it goes back many, many, many millennia. Um, but we can do something about it now. And, and I encourage you, as you hear today, uh, the speakers today and what they have to share, uh, that, that it, I want you to be emboldened, uh, empowered, to take this and encourage other people to check Snopes, check their sources, cite their sources. If the claim is too good to be true, it's probably not. And, uh, and above all else, support Every, everything that you can do to support uh, the folks that are trying to use science and reason to guide legislation. You follow me on that? Because we've got climate change, vaccination, education in public schools, and so many other things. Uh, and if we could just encourage our lawmakers, like Mr. Jerry McNerney, who's about to come up, uh, he's already on board with science. And I know a lot of his peers are, but oh, there are some that are not. And I hope that you guys will encourage them. Pick up a science book, if nothing else, right? So, we've got a great day uh, planned for you. Um, I'm going to head it, uh, give it back to the MC. And uh, Steve, you could come back up here. Um, but a couple quick things to say. And uh, I, I really hope you guys have a great day today. We had a lot of fun putting together this program. So thank you all for coming to Free Thought Day 20, uh, 2018, our 17th annual. Thank you. Keep it going for David Diskin.